going on folks welcome to the bold and the beautiful bold and the beautiful ah, look at the top of his head <laughs> if you can't laugh at yourself who can you laugh at We're just all sad clowns, aren't we? Yeah, I. Just you do gotta do. I mean, the funny story. You know, I was talking. I was doing a a stream for work last night, not not football related. And uh, we were talking about um, beards. And since this is the bald and bearded Tottenham boy show, the, the, this this place plays into that. 
Well, I have brown hair. I've been a brunette my whole life, but I have a red beard and it's getting lighter and lighter. So now it looks like, you know, super ginger. And so, I, you know, I was like, I, you know, I, you know, after shaving my head, now that I have no hair, I can't convince anyone that I'm not a redhead. Right. And the guy was like, you're a, you're a trans ginger. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I gotta steal that from you. That's absolutely hilarious. You need to start a true. burner, a burner Twitter account, the trans ginger. <laughs> and uh yeah, I mean I thought it was it was hilarious because it's true. Like now now that I am bald and I do have the red beard, I can make ginger jokes without fear of repercussion, you know? I can I can. I, I'm part of that 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 identity group, right? No, I'm a I'm a I'm a ginger now. So I gotta <laughs> embrace it. I'm, I, I you know I gotta I gotta identify as one. Yeah, up here in Canada, we don't we don't we don't call people gingers. We call them daywalkers. So <laughs> daywalkers, everybody's everybody's loving it. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I just thought it was funny, so I thought that would be a good opening to the show. Um, we both got a good, got a good laugh out of it. But anyways, let's say hello to some people yep. in the chat here. We got we got about sixteen people jumping in. We got Kevin Murray or Murray, um, a fellow uh, Celtic heritage person. Um, Dan in in the house paul brown as always james watson and eugene is in the comments right now there's more than just those people watching so get in there and comment to comment to comment away jose is going to roma that didn't take very long did it no good news or bad news i think good news i think good news you know, like uh, I don't have anything against Jose personally. So I know that people are kind of like freaking out on on Twitter because, like, there's been some people who have reacted saying, "Good, we don't have we don't have to pay him as much much severance," and uh, the counter reaction to that is that you know we we're all brainwashed by Levy to be concerned so much with club finances. We we've bought into that that narrative that we're cash strapped all the time, and we you know. We never have money to spend on players or anything like that. But for me, I think it's good that he's not 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 only that he's found another job and that it, I get, it, you know, there are going to be financial benefits for Tottenham. But I just I'm glad he's not in the Premier League anymore either. You know what I mean? Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. But if he goes and wins a league with Roma or gets into the or something like that, it's going to be really embarrassing. Do you think Roma will back him? You think that the Roma will just be like spliffing the cash off? Like, I'm not saying it's impossible. You imagine, you imagine that, like, okay, what do you think? Is is it is it the worst case scenario that Jose, wherever he goes from here on in his career, always finds some level of success, always continues to win silverware, and that we will always just be <laughs> the yeah. one club that he's on his record at. Because we sacked him six days before he had an opportunity to win a trophy? For this sure, 1,000%. This is... <sighs> That's this thirsty is such, for you. This is such a hard club to love right now. <laughs> it's so hard. Like... Literally, the only respite that we have from our club is the fact that we we're, we have like a self-deprecating, almost like Canadians are kind of notoriously Sadistic. self-deprecating, and and so that's why like I can usually like laugh off a few embarrassing games, a few embarrassing results, a couple of transfers that go bad. But it's like it's it's getting to be a little bit much, you know. Like to be able to actually continue to laugh at it, it's like okay, I'm laughing, but there's real tears like coming down my face at the same time. Not like tears from laughing, you know what I mean? Like truly, truly sad clown tears. <sighs> so uh, Stelios's uh, banner for uh, for uh, Daniel Levy would, would would fit perfectly then there, wouldn't it? The sad clown. Yeah. <laughs> 
But uh, James Watson says a classic Leafs fan. <laughs> Not a Leafs fan. Not a Leafs fan. Were you uh, the Canadians? You're muted, I think. So I, I grew up on the border of Quebec and Ontario, and the closest franchise to where I grew up is now the Ottawa Senators. But when okay. I was starting to get into hockey, they weren't there. And my mom was a Leafs fan, so I kind of picked the Canadians. They were geographically the closest team. They were also the most successful at the time. You know, like I was born in 84. They won the Cup in 93. They're still the last Canadian team to have won the Stanley Cup. But uh, when I got into Spurs – after after a a couple years of, of just dealing with with what we're like, I told my one uh, my my best mate who's a Liverpool fan, I'm like I I picked the Toronto Maple Leafs of the Premier League. I don't, how did this happen? Because that's that's what we are. Like the Leafs haven't won the cup since 1967, and they are just notoriously a failure of a franchise. Same 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 scenario. Like business wise, one of the biggest brands globally in hockey you know but haven't won shit <laughs> haven't won shit well and, and jay Fowler he says that he loves the club because we're the detroit lions of the premier league we invent new ways to snatch the teeth from the jaws of victory and i actually saw a meme somewhere where it might have been on facebook but it was like the detroit lions in the uh in it in the draft and it was a kid who is about who is who was apparently picked and it's like the in the first round draft pick for the Detroit Lions was and he has all of his family with balloons and stuff. And his mom grabs the Detroit Lions hat and he answers the phone. He's like, I'm sorry, but you have called, you know, or your car um, warranty will expire in four days. And then they hung up and they're like, and then they're like the Detroit Lions transferred their pick to the Dallas Cowboys and everybody claps. Like they're making up excuses to not get drafted by the Detroit Lions. And after seeing this comment here and, and remembering that, it, it makes sense because that's the way the managers are treating us right now. Right? It's like <laughs> like that, that like that meme that was posted in one of the one of the either the WhatsApp or the uh or the the Twitter groups where you know Joe's or um, Daniel Levy is 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 uh, you know he's he's looking at choices or it's like kind of like a Tinder or something like that and he's swiping left and swiping right and then messaging people and people are you know ghosting him or you know whatever it's just yeah uh, it's well I'll, I'll say to this comment does if if we're the Detroit Lions of the Premier League does that make Harry Kane the Barry Sanders of the Premier have League to be yeah I think so right bad ankles one of the best players to have ever played. Does that mean that Harry Kane's going to retire next year? Like, oh man, that would be oh, next level. But uh, who else we got in the house? Wayne Bonner's in the house. Wayne, um, we do have a little bit of business we have to take care of uh, for the folks that are supporting the channel. We've got Williams Rangers. Beep, 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 beep. Um, Spartan Seven Gaming, Wayne Bonner, and Mama Coates. So thank you guys for doing that. Oh, mom. Yeah, five bucks a month. Um, that's your inheritance. She's siphoning it down to you. <laughs> <laughs> all, all five dollars of it. I appreciate. No, I'm, I'm joking. I do. We appreciate every, every bit of support that the channel gets, regardless from who it comes from. Um, folks and peoples, if you want to, um, get in on that stuff, the links are in the description below, um, THFC rants, you know, to get some, to get some sweet merch. This is probably the best news that, that has happened for you in a while in terms of, of Tottenham, because you got to think LaMelo's gone for sure. Cause he was already being linked with a move to Roma and we knew that, that, that Jose and Lamella, you know, they're like of the same. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I, I think Jose was just kind of playing what he had, right? And that was the best options he had. I don't really think. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. To be honest with you. So you can get the sweet merch. We've got the bun. Moon boots is the best. Moon boots. Moon boots. <laughs> Moon boots and, and. I'm telling you, bros. <laughs> <laughs> we I'm you gotta get you, you gotta get like a little animated 
version of Marcelo with the you know the the thin beard and the and the headset on, you know, and just be like, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. Come well, to the free coaster. <laughs> to get Bobby in on that one. I created Jeff probably that would do it, but so but, uh Bobby likes to make the ones with all the talking. He's he has an app that you know morphs people's pictures onto a talking face. So so what do you think? Roma and, and Spurs both sneak into Europa and we get in the, the same group stage next year? Um yeah, probably. Probably. That's probably what's gonna happen. But uh Yep. And then for the Patreon folks, you can join the link there on there. That's in the bottom of the chat too. But back into regular parts of the show. Today's show, although we are answering comments as well, Ryan Mason's in the hot seat. I want to hear your thoughts on Ryan Mason. Like your serious thoughts. I think I've made mine fairly clear. I'm curious of what of what, of what you're feeling about Ryan Mason right now. It's it's really unfair. It's really unfair to be passing judgment on this guy. You know, like. And I, I've I've heard some people make the argument that oh he could have said no, there's no there's no damn way that someone comes to you with an opportunity like that even if it is and and, and I'm assuming Mason does was not under the impression that he would be considered for the permanent position but if somebody comes up to you you're an employee of a company and they offer you this huge opportunity to be the CEO for two months and just say look it's just a trial thing we're gonna be there's no way that you're turning that down. There's no way. And I feel bad because, you know, like here he is, he's 29 years old. He's already kind of hard to take serious because of his age, because of his lack of experience. And he's not really saying anything wrong in his press conferences. He's being kind of what you would expect. Like if you put any other manager of, of any experience in his position and they say the same things nobody would really make anything of it they would not be saying some of the things that are being said about ryan mason that he's you know he's reading off a script or that he's daniel levy's puppet or you know that he has that he's boring you know so it's 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 pretty difficult and and you know what it's been three games you know we've won two and and like it or not losing one nil to man city despite the way we looked that's probably better than most people would have predicted if they were being honest as Spurs fans. We can all sit here with, and and you know make our predictions with our with our heart instead of our head, but I don't think that any Spurs supporter would have given us a legitimate chance to beat Manchester City in the Cup final. Um, I don't agree with some of the substitutions that he, he made in the Cup final. I didn't agree with the lineup in the Cup final. <sighs> But I mean, it's it's been three games. It's been three games. It's been what two weeks, three weeks. Let's just wait to pass judgment. You know, we still have we still have a reason to play in, this season. And you know, I, I do see that we've improved in the second half of of both those games. Now, Southampton and Sheffield, you know, arguably two championship level teams that we've come up against. Let's see what happens when we get you know the mid table likes of Wolves and Villa and Leeds. But if if we if we run the table, I'll be quite impressed. Even if we don't finish in the top four. Yeah, no, I mean, I I don't disagree with you there. Like the things that I disagree with is that, or that I I want to, you know, like I like I got into that big big battle with Alex. It was a fun battle. Um, and Alex, if you're watching and and, and you want to come on, um, the Q and A show this Thursday, um. You're more than welcome to do that. Um, but yeah, I just, man, I tell you what, I, I think people just don't like to hold people responsible for their own choices and their own actions, you know, because that's my thing. I could care less if he's Daniel Levy's puppet or doing whatever, but the choices that he's making substitutionally and for the lineup are just, criminal in my mind in a lot of the ways you know why even even this week winning four nil i had problems with the way they think what is what has lucas moore done wrong why is he on the bench now why is he getting you know lure more one of the sweetest kindest guys you know second to maybe only sunny himself 
you know, why is he being pushed out? Why is he not getting time on the spot? Why is Deli Ali all of a sudden, you know? Yeah. But but you know what? If if we are going to make a genuine attempt to try and rehabilitate Deli Ali as a player, the match against Sheffield is the time to start. It is. Um, if if he if he's not going to draw into the lineup, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying it, I'm not saying it's fair to though. Lucas. I'm not saying it's fair to Lucas. I'm, I'm not saying I agree with it, but I I would say it's it's like if if you look at the relationships that the players had with Jose Mourinho. It's almost as if there's been this elastic effect where, you know, some of these club players, the, the relationship between the club and player was stretched so far. And now we're seeing like this backlash from that where it's like, OK, maybe it's a little bit of an overreaction to the far side. I don't think that Lucas has been substituted in the cup final or left out against Sheffield United as punishment. It's quite possible Lucas would benefit from, from some rest. He's been playing pretty much every game for us since the beginning of March. So yeah, it's, it, it's hard. It's hard. Do we have a squad now when we're only playing one game a week where we're going to be start rotating players? Like, is there going to be a rotation that's added in on here? I mean, we're, we're talking about if, if, if you're looking at every game as a cup final, right? I mean, that's what Ryan Mason said himself, right? Every match is a cup final. You don't rotate people for cup finals. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. No, I'm not really defending it, but but I'm just trying to see what possible lo logical angle there would be to the decision making. Really, I mean, you you could argue that whether we're going to sell or keep Deli Ali, it, it makes sense to play him in a match where you know we should be able to handle the opposition quite easily. Now, did he do anything against Sheffield to make you think that he deserves further playing time going forward? No. It's it's really Deli? polarized. Delhi's a polarizing player. No. You know, there's a large subsection of fans that still you get, regard you Delhi Alley way too much. Yeah, sixteen yeah, yeah. times. But I mean, he hasn't played. You know, like it, it's fair. It's fair to say that there was like a lot of rust that needs to be shaken off. Like that first half, him and Gareth Bale were falling over one another. You know what I mean? Like uh, there's no yeah. chemistry. Hundred percent. There's no chemistry, and he's still playing like it's. You know, 16, 17 season, or he thinks it's 16, 17 season in his head, but it's not. He's been crap for two years. Um, and it's the same, it's the exact same. Dan Dan says, same with Harry Weeks. 100% the same with Harry Weeks. Oh, wrong yeah. comment. But thank you, Joseph Kale, for the comment. I am not a Gadelli Alley truther. I think we should be selling them. I always I love even... it when the comments move just as you're clicking. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, no, I'm saying Joe. I'm not saying I'm saying that. That's what Ryan Mason said in his press conference. This pre-match press conference. He said every game we have now is a cup final. So if you're taking him at his word, then that means he's picking what he thinks is the best players that we have. And I just don't agree with him. I don't Oops. agree with him. Put on put on your business cap. What's what's the lowest fee you would take to uh, sell Daly Alley on? He's be, being as young as he is, and they're having a potential. See, look for younger players. I give, I have grace. So he's only 24, 25. You know, he's not like an Eric Lamella where he's you know getting close to his twilight ages and being put out to pasture. Um, thirty million. That would yeah, be at least. That'd that's, be the least probably, I'd take. That's probably the, the, the lowest that I would go for him, too. Because right now, he, he he's not playing like... He's not, uh, like Dan says, 40 million minimum. Uh, I think that's a bit much. I don't think he's playing like a 40 million, million dollar midfielder right now. Um, or million pound midfielder right now. Okay. Yeah, I would say that would be right. Yeah, 40 million domestic, 30 million international. I, I, I would go with that. I mean, there are a lot of pro there are a lot of probably a lot of number tens and English number tens out there that we could pick up for forty million pounds. <laughs> they would have been playing better than uh, than Delhi has. Um, you know, two years ago, I would have said he's ever been in ninety million pounds, right? Um, um, but 
you know, because like what Sabitzer was is was put at like what fifty something, fifty five, sixty million, and he's he's like, you know, light years above Deli Ali's. I think that's right I think now. that's a little higher than what what Sabitzer was rumored to be wanting to fetch Leipzig wanting to fetch for Sabitzer. I think he was in the thirty million range. Oh yeah, then dang man, well, we we should make that swap all day long. Sabitzer's a little bit older. He's not old, but he's older. He's like 27, 28, right? Yeah. Yeah, but look at like look at Tony Cruz, man. He's like sixty five, and he's out there killing. Or uh, what's his name for for Bayern Munich? Or Pepe for Porto? Yeah, but what's it Milner for Bayern Munich or Mueller? Thomas yeah. Mueller. Yeah, that dude's old, dude. Even Modric. Looks like my science teacher or something like that. Super old. He needs to go into acting. He'd be like a perfect super villain. He does. He looks like he looks like a, a super villain. Not that I have against anything against German people, but he looks he looks like that. Saw a comment from Mr. K earlier that we looked very serious. Mr. K, you're gonna have to watch back the first four four or five minutes. Just yeah. take just take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're, we're definitely not serious in the first four or five minutes there were some good jokes made uh, at the beginning of the show we got, we got Danielle Stewart in the house thank you for coming Miss Danielle um, could Levy and Spurs be putting players in the window to sell Yeah, not if it's a cup final that's what I'm saying there's too much hypocrisy and doublespeak coming out of Ryan Mason's mouth for me to trust him for anything Right. Yeah. If they're putting players up on the sales shelf, then you're not treating every match like a cup final. We can't say that we're really given an honest go at top four if we're putting players in the window who are not our best players, you know. So, but I will say if there was a game to do that, it was last weekend. Well, so it'll be interesting to see. Like what if you had to if you had to put money on it right now, would you say that Delhi starts on the weekend? Sorry? If you had to if you had to put money on it, would you say that Delhi Alley starts this weekend? If I had to put money on it, I, I no, because my own personal biases could get get in the way there. And I love Delhi Alley. That's the thing that's frustrating. I, and this is why I think that I'm an honest fan. One of my favorite players ever. Ever for Spurs in his prime. And I'm talking about not having him play because he's not playing well, right? And before the players, I'm a Tottenham fan, the club. I want what's best for the club. I don't have any biases saying that, you know, Ben Davies deserves a testimonial and all that stuff. Like, Ben Davies, you have been here with us for 10 years. You deserve the testimonial. It's bullshit. Okay? That's bullshit. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> crack of bullshit. Um, you know, I... Yeah, sorry for the cussing earlier in the morning here. Or is but for you guys, it's about five, six, eight, six p.m. for most of our UK friends. So it's uh, it's uh, let's not let's not get started on the testimonial again because that <laughs> 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 not without Alex, not without Alex. No, there's no there's no testimonial debate without Alex. So where's he getting a statue? Right in the club shop. <laughs> get a statue. So so you say Delhi doesn't start this weekend? Ah. Uh, I would say no, but he probably will. Well, no, you have to pick one. You can't just you, I, I, let's. I, I'll, I'll take the opposite position. And I would do. say no, but I have no clue what Ryan Mason's going to do. Well, that's the no fun clue. Part. I'm that's even the, more. It's not fun. I, everybody was saying that we don't know what team Jose is going to pick, and it was such a problem. It's such a big problem. But I'm telling you right now, I at least knew who wasn't going to play under Jose Mourinho. You know, I mean, there's. I have no idea. Right next, all I know is Danny Rose could be starting at left back to, uh, on the weekend. For all I know, it's nuts, man. 
It's absolutely, yeah. It's yeah. got me speechless. You really have, because like you have to try and crawl inside the mind of Daniel Levy right now. I mean, I don't think we can really debate the fact that he is influencing what's going on on the pitch in terms of player selection, right? Daniel Levy is influencing that. It was it was rumored that that was one of the the rows between him and Jose was Levy was trying to get his grubby little rat fingers into into the management of the team, and Jose, no, 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 none of that, right? So if you're gonna crawl inside the bald head of Daniel Levy, who gives bald men a bad name. <laughs> That that's how you have to f- look at the weekend. So I guess uh, I guess I guess if crunch. I was a betting man, I would say Delhi's going to start. Yeah, but comments like this, uh, William, I love you, man. We've got the same, you know, same first names. You know, we are the we are the protectors. I don't know what we protect, but we're the protectors. And I don't know why I just went all Italian on people. I'm only like two percent Italian. Um. How are we resting people with four matches left in the season and we need to win every single match to get top four? Like, I mean, we shouldn't be being confident. After our season, we shouldn't be confident going to play anybody. You know what I mean? Holly Holly's in the house. My fellow Ginger. How are we tonight? Daywalker. The Daywalkers? Um... Yeah, it's. She said, "Good evening, Mr. K, Cody." And um, I just don't understand, man. Uh, what are they doing over there at this place? I don't like, know. is it, does he have an earpiece in, or, or maybe you know, is is Pochettino sending him texts, you know, on the sidelines, and you know, when he's looking at his phone, there he's getting messages on how to play. I don't think that. I think Pochettino would probably have, have you know, better, better, better choices than this. I just don't know what's going on with this club, dude. On the, when the games are being played, and that's the most frustrating part, right? Like if if he, if Ryan Mason would have come in, I don't think the results would have been any different. If he would have come in, played the same people, and then brought in those like, look, if you want to bring in a Winks as a as a substitute. Or if you want to bring Dilly on as a substitute and give him some minutes, totally cool. Right? I've got no problem. You get respect. You know, they get to see it. They get a chance to get some minutes under the belt. And then if they have a good performance, then maybe we can, because you know how Spurs fans get. Dilly comes in on the 70 minute and he scores a goal. Boom, he's starting next weekend. Right? Like, there's no doubt about it. 100%. He's in the first, in the start at 11. Um, you know, and we're so gross. We're so gross. I, I just get grossed out thinking about some of the shit that's going on. Because, like, let's 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 assume that the players got Jose sacked. Okay, that, that yeah. there were fractured relationships between the likes of you know we don't even have to name names. The fact that they're being just welcomed back into the fold as soon as Jose's corpse is carted off of Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is kind of freaking gross it grosses me out you know i just hope that we see some 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 seismic change at this club in the summer like it's not it's no it's not a shock that, that everyone wants to move on what eight to ten players eight to ten players we need to seriously move on if we wanted if we want to flip our identity if we want to flip our culture and do it quickly that's that's the kind of that's the kind of turnover we need to have and it needs to be immediate Look at that right see. there. The Yid kid says he loves the shirt, and he even bought the mug. Dude. Hey. You're a legend, my man. You're a legend. Big up to the Yid kid. Big, Big up, up to the Yid kid. Um, although, you, sh- you, if you drink a little too much coffee, it'll stunt your growth. No, I'm kidding. My grandma used to tell me that and ended up being 6'5". So, if I wouldn't have drinking the coffee as, at, at 13, 12, what, how tall would I have gotten? Scary to think, because it's yeah. being six five is tough enough. It's I do want to say, Holly Holly Agumbar is in the chat, and uh, 
She just got the best insult. She loves, just loves calling players eggs, and I, I I've never heard anybody use the word eggs in a derogatory manner like that. And now I just <laughs> I just use it all the time. I just use it what all do, the time. My wife. What she, are you I, having I use it for breakfast? Eggs. <laughs> Bunch of eggs, like. <laughs> And, and and anyone who hasn't go go and subscribe to Holly because her channel oh, is just it's great brilliant. channel. Yeah, she had uh, she had David on yesterday. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Can I play center back? Yeah, but I'm old now. I'm only forty years old, dude. Uh, I mean, I could still be quick if I wanted to, but I, I've maybe maybe got thirty five minutes in me, <laughs> and then I'm done. And I, and then I won't be able to play for four weeks after that as I try to recover. I think I'd, take, I'd, I'd take 35 minutes of you over 90 minutes of Davinson Sanchez. I would say that. that's not really that much of a compliment, but I'll, I'll give you guys that much. But I'm telling you, if 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 like we are Tottenham TV ever does put like a, a Spurs channel team together, you know, I could either keep her or if, if they don't have someone younger and, and more and more agile, keeper would be. I'm 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 pretty I'm a pretty decent keeper. Um, I play keeper for men's uh, men's leagues around here and f men's futsal leagues around here, and uh, yeah, I'm telling you right now, you gotta have, you gotta have a little bit more. Like people already say that football keepers are, are gotta be gotta a little be a bit crazy to be a keeper. Futsal keepers are even worse, dude, because that ball weighs more. It has a harder shell, dude. That's like a rocket, dude. I got hit. I got hit right here one time. Went to go for a save, came through, and it split my thumbs as my hands were coming up. It split my thumbs, hit me square in the jaw, and I literally blacked out in my eyes. So like a grown man rocketing it from probably six, seven yards, you know, because in football or in, in futsal, it's a real small pitch. When they're taking their shots, they're taking them from, you know, 10 feet, not, not, not 30, 30 yards or 20 yards. Oh, it hurt so bad, dude. He took it like a champ. I was like, bah. went went black for a second and just kept kept fighting. And when you can get a forty year old man to jump and fall down on a gym floor, you know he's got he's got some guts. He's got some guts. So we get thirty five minutes of guts. <laughs> Hey, William, what did I do? Oh, it might be somebody else in the chat. Oh, oh no, yeah. She, he yeah. Called, William he called McKenzie call there today. <laughs> wow. Harsh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. We got off into the weeds there for a second, and I've lost my train of thought now. But that gives us a perfect time to tell all the folks watching the show to make sure to subscribe follow us on other social medias as well hit that bell and get reminded of it because look i actually looked at a statistic yesterday that our subscribers only are making up 11 percent of our views 11 percent. so that means 90 percent of our views are coming from people who aren't subscribed yet so hit the red button right hit the red button over there and subscribe. Hit that button right there. Like the video. Subscribe. Ring the bell. What are you waiting for? Wednesday? Do it today. On Tuesday. No need to wait for Wednesday. We're up to 531 now. Creeping. 531 is what we were at when we started, my friend. <laughs> oh, I just mean in general. Like the road, the road to 1K, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no. But PSG to win tonight? I hope so. I hope so. You know, Pochettino, he's magic, you know. He's magic, you know. Also, too, like the video. Share it with your friends out there on the nether regions of whatever social media space you do. Also, too, we do have Discord now. So for all you Discord, you know, Zoomers and, and millennials that like your, your, your Discord, um, make sure to go and, and check that out. Same thing, we'll... Stuart THFC rants. I can throw a link in the chat um, if you want to me. It's bare bones now. I, I I'm not a Discorder myself, but there were some people who were, and um, 
uh, Holly says, oh, Discord, get me involved. All right, I'll throw that link in there for you, Holly. Um, into the chat. I think it's in the description too. I may be wrong though. I may have grabbed the the one from the last. Um... Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, just while we're, I mean, you're plugging up this channel, but while while we're doing any kind of plugging, I did want to say to the people watching that uh, Tottenham away are doing a show in about two hours time, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard, 9 p.m. UK time. And it's going to be a show dedicated to, to mental health. And it's going to be a mixture of, of people talking about their own experiences and struggles, as well as they're going to have uh, professionals from the field of mental health coming in to talk about the issue. And uh, I think it's something that everybody, even if you don't struggle with it, uh, I think it would be educational. And uh, everybody should hop on over to Tottenham Away in two hours time and take that in brian daigle will be telling his story and uh big up brian because that takes some courage to put yourself out there and and disclose that type of personal information so you know uh, and i i think too and, and for all the fans that are watching there's 60 of you guys watching right now i just want to i really want to suggest that you really do watch these shows you know what i mean um i think it's you know bobby's had some shows on Qatar's. um you know, we've had some shows on the media. You know, we had a show here on on racism, racism, xenophobia, and bigotry last Friday. We got mental health here. Watch these so shows, support these shows because um, not all they are, not only are they you know they may not be necessarily pertinent to you, right? Like you may not even think you know the the, the racism or bigotry or xenophobia is a big deal or it doesn't you know. You may be a person of color and think that it doesn't apply to you or something like that, but watch them, support them, share those shows out because a lot of shows like this really do bring awareness to it. And I, I honestly haven't seen too many other teams, you know, I, I haven't seen any Arsenal shows on, on a lot of these things or many United shows on it. I think it's really cool that this community, that the one, especially, I guess you could say the, the Watt TV minions, um, that we're what we're doing is is uh i guess we could be called the watt tv babies the spawn of watt tv because that's what, i mean if you really think about it that's where all of us came from david included right um, watt tv spinoffs we are the spawn we are the spawn of we are time tv but go out and watch those shows because they these the people that put them on one are past just as passionate about those topics as they are the club themselves and uh, I'll be honest, man, it's a little bit of a Debbie Downer when you when you have the show that you think is great and the feedback from the people watching are like, oh, it's awesome topic, boom, boom, boom. And then it's like, <laughs> right? So let's not do that. Let's go out and support that show that that um, Tottenham Way is having uh, on the 4th. Or is that today? That's today. Later tonight. After this show, I think, right? Yep. Yep. 4 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. So after we're done this, I'll be over there watching that one for sure. Don't go watch anything else. Don't go watch somebody talk about Beanie Babies or Teletubbies or Ryan Mason, all the same topic. Um, <laughs> um, get over there and watch that that show on mental health and, and help support it. You just have it in your earbuds if you're, you know, if, if, if you don't, if you're busy. Yeah, Ken Kenny will be on that show today, but yeah, he, Mister K, um, unless I make Brian Ireland a mod, which I can do, that's not. Um, I have to pull up the YouTube page to do it. He can't post link in the chat unless you're a mod. Um, I have to pull up the YouTube version. Fifty-two watching, one subscriber we've gained. Glory, glory. Uh, thank you for that. Every single one is is match. 52 watching and only 34 likes. Come on, guys. Come on now. Uh, uh, add moderate. There we go. All right, Brian Ireland. You're a moderator now. You can post links in the... I, I, just, already I did it. Yeah, I just popped the link in there. That's, that's, that's the link to the show. So... Yeah. But... And we we usually done here by three, so you'll have about an hour. Um, 
to to jump over there and do that. Yeah, Mr. K is thrown in there too. But yeah, go on there and hit the uh, the bell on that video so it'll send you an uh, guaranteed to get a reminder whenever it goes live. Um, but yeah, go support those shows, man. People people work hard on them and they're a lot of fun. But back to our show. Back to our show. Oh, do we really have to talk about Spurs? Can we just... I made a nice loaf of bread this morning. We could talk about that. 25% rye, 75% white strong white bread flour turned out quite nice nice for yeah me. you like to make bread yeah i started last summer you know uh with the pandemic and everything it was like one of those things that would make force you to go to the grocery store sooner than you wanted to you know so i said okay well now now i can go like three weeks between doing groceries because I just make all my own bread so but that's what i want you to do cody to not talk about spurs I think what he wants is for us to talk about everything except him. <laughs> Where's the laugh? <laughs> oh, man. At least, have we been linked to any new managers today? Uh, Gasparini, I think, was one that was in the comments earlier. Yeah, you'd be happy about that, eh? No, glory, glory, Cody's bread only works if it's cornbread. That's how it fits. There's not enough syllables in, 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 in Cody's bread. It's got to be glory, glory, Cody's cornbread. You can't just hang bread out there. <laughs> you have to have two syllables, at least, in that last word. It doesn't have to make sense. You've heard you've heard some of the chants before, it right? It does like, have to make no, sense. No, no, no. Come on now. And and you know, like you can't spell Cody without OCD. So like that th that that's the kind of thing that would bother me. But it, the, the rule does not seem to apply to some of the chants of the English fans. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Elongate. Glory, glory, Cody's bread. <laughs> See, easy. <laughs> I don't think so. Why did at Premier Hospital TV's comment need mod authorization? I authorized it, but I'm asking why it needed it. What? Where, where did he? Where's this comment at? Uh, evening, Will and Cody. Uh, hope you're all, and I will be turning in after my stream. But everyone, subscribe, like, share, comment for this great channel. Um, it might have been the dashes in between the words. Sometimes people use those when they spam stuff. So YouTube just automatically does it. I don't set that up. That's the thing that YouTube does. But thank you, Simon, for watching, my man. Um, everybody go check out his channel, too. Wayne Bonner. <laughs> 534. Thank you very much, you kid. Stay on top of that, man. You'll be, you can be the enforcer. Um, Do you, you should Levi have Livy pop up saying, I'm telling you, bro. Do you, think Levy, <laughs> do, you, do you think that we should suggest that Daniel Levy start his own uh, cameo account? Have you ever seen this? celebrities who you know you pay them money and they'll say happy birthday or they'll say some kind of message or whatever it seems like the kind of thing levy could make a ton off you know like brian daigle would pay him whatever to say hi i'm daniel levy and i'm a bald stupid uh, yeah you know, like you know uh I mean? <laughs> what's his name what's the kill for godfrey does it what's there's an app that people do that i can't remember the name of the app but you go on the app and you can pay people to do things for you like uh to make videos for you or do whatever. Yeah, it's cameo, isn't it? Yeah, cameo. Yeah. Sorry, dude. I'm like 40. I'm not. I'm not down. With, I'm not down with the hips. The hip. Yeah. The hippity hips. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the right the young age days. of 37. So, basically, I'm at the age where as soon as I like something, it becomes uncool. So. Yeah. Like my kids were all excited about TikTok, and then I got on there, and now they're like, eh. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're we just have to. Stay Stick to Facebook, right? I, I don't you got, Facebook, I mean, you, so. you, you got to wait till your daughters get, you know, thirteen. Oh man, years no, old, come man. on, just, just let me enjoy my life. It's already rotten enough without picturing what what life will be like when they're. And I thought I started having kids late, man. I was twenty seven when I had. Oh man, I made a kid. huge mistake. Huge mistake. <laughs> you know, you had no energy to do it, dude. Like I thought the same thing, yeah. my man. Like because like when my third son was born. Um, I was 30, 
31, 32. And like, I, just, I just couldn't hang, like playing in the park. I was getting scared. And I was like, thinking, because my dad was 21 when he had me. I'm like, dude, first of all, what, what is a 21 year old doing having kids? And, and second, um, he must have plenty of energy to go and do, you know, this, that, and the other thing at that, at that age. You know what I mean? I used to have a, a teenager that worked for me at a golf course and she started having kids at 18 and like on purpose. And I was thinking, what, like, what is wrong with you? But really she's got it right because she had three kids. Then she went to school to become a nurse. Her kids are going to move out by the time she's 40, 45 years old. She's going to be in the clear. She's going to be able to relax. I'm going to be yeah. sitting here 45 dealing with like teenaged girls. Like, I don't, I, and I'm already bald. Like, what is the next? Thank you for what? subbing, Nimba. Appreciate it. 100%. You're a legend. But yeah, dude, I totally agree with you, man. Like, it's like those people that decide to to stay in the military, like like in the United States. So if you, people don't realize that if you join the military at 18 and you stay in it for 20, 22 years, you get to retire. So you're making like, you know, four or five thousand dollars a month for the rest of your life at 40 years old but please support the patreon everyone <laughs> well, i'm not retired i didn't do the military for i only did it for oh, six years okay yeah all right please sir may i have some more <laughs> yeah no i wish i had stayed. that's what i'm saying i should have stayed in i should have sucked it up and stayed in because i'd have been retired right now oh, i'd be man. retired and not Mr. only that, but when you retired, you can still go on base for any time you want. You can, you know what I'm saying? So you can go to the base, you can get all the tax-free goods that are, you know, so when you remove all taxes, I'm not talking just sales tax, I'm talking all any liquor tax, any school tax, all of that stuff. The kid, kid says we're at 538, man. Good job. What are you doing? Are you hiring people out there to do that? Like all of a sudden, this thing is just flying. You're in charge now, Yid kid. For every video, you're in charge of, of, of going out there and collecting them, them subscribers. Ask and you shall receive. Yeah, no, that's amazing. Get Mr. Kids K on says, it, Mr. K says the next step is hair, hair turning white. The salt's coming, man. It's already I, coming. I heard, and, and and maybe Holly can 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 shed more light on this than me. But I heard that like like ginger doesn't turn white. That like ginger hair stays stays ginger. That's what I heard. I'm not sure. Still not worth it. <laughs> because then most of the, see, that's a, I can tell you right now, in my beard, I have gray hair. I have gray hair. But you know what hairs are the ones that are gray? The brown the, ones. The brown ones. <laughs> yeah, because this is this is your transgender heritage, you know? It's coming through. <laughs> yeah. But then, um, then they go white. They go from ginger, and then after, like, later, later on in, in ages and years, they go white. Not gray. White. Well, I'm telling you, if Spurs don't turn things around and things progress with my children the way that everyone seems to think that they're going to, I'm going to age like that guy at the end of the Indiana Jones movie, you know, the, the scene where the guy just melts in like a matter of seconds. That's going to be me 2024 when Spurs are finishing 14th, you know. <laughs> we, got, we, got Dan, we got Dan here. Uh, he says, my dad's a ginger, and he's getting that salt and paprika look. <laughs> I love it. Instead of salt and pepper, it's salt and paprika. Uh, oh, it's the comedy in this channel is just it's classic. It's off the, it's off the level. And she, yeah, Holly said that there's some geezer on TikTok that said his hair goes white, and he wants to be Santa when he's old. Yeah. Um, my dad's beard is is white. White, white. It's not gray, it's white. He he's bald as well. But uh just like that killed me. <clears throat> um man, I tell you, what are we talking about now? This shows I'm sorry, people. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you didn't want us to talk about football today because we haven't said fuck all about it so far. We did. So. We did. We talked about Ryan Mason for probably a good 35, 40 minutes. To be fair, we That's did. Not football, though. Is he really, is he a football topic? I mean, yeah, he's, in, he's, 
He's just a Muppet, right? Oh, look, the... Ryan Mason popping into the show. Hello. <laughs> she said, Winksy, go on, I dare you. Oh, oh man. You know, you're on Harry Winks, man. I've got Winks God. fatigue. Winksy stinksy. Mr. Casey. Holly, not the W word, please. Holly, are you going to get rid of that Harry Winks doll or what? Like, what's, what's the deal there? Because... He can't just hang out rent free in your in your mind and your bed. You, you know, like he can't be on all your streams and everything. It's just you, you're going to stunt your channel growth. <laughs> yeah, I think you got a barbecue. I want to see that. I want to see the barbecue. If you can't do it, you can mail them to me and I'll barbecue them for you. What's your favorite Harry Winks nickname? Harry Winks. Yeah. Harry stinks. Tiddly Winks. My personal favorite, John None Cooper. Of them. John Cooper from uh, We Are Tottenham TV. Yeah. SpongeBob Square Pass. <laughs> that's my personal favorite. I almost set the coffee out that I just drank. Yes, that's a good one. Wanksy. Wanksy. Yeah. Harry Stanks. Harry Wonks. I, wonks. Somebody misspelled it Wonks the other day, and I was just, that's all I could think was Wonk Wonk. <laughs> yeah. I just call him bad. That's my favorite nickname for him, Bad. Is he the worst player in Tottenham history to wear the number eight? Can't be. It would be pretty harsh, right? Uh, I, I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. Somewhere but, Alex Alex was taking a nice afternoon nap, an evening nap, and he's just bolted up in his bed for no reason in a cold sweat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's... So I mean, ninety percent of you guys are out there watching. Yid Kid's killing it. I don't know if he's like creating YouTube accounts, subscribing to it. But I don't care. Keep going. <laughs> That's what you're doing. I don't care. What um, was the comment you said about ninety percent of the viewers don't aren't subscribed? What do you think? Winks plus cash for Max Aaron's. Who says no? Other than Norwich. <laughs> I take it. Winks plus cash for Max Aaron's. How much cash? I think you probably do a straight swap. No, come on. We're, yeah, we're that, taking that, Skip that, from him. We're gonna take Skip and Aaron's, and they're gonna get Winks. Well, how I much mean, do you think Aaron's worth? Thirty. Yeah, but Harry Winks domestically could probably we, you, you could probably fetch thirty forty. I don't think he's worth that. I think you could do. I you're talking about Aaron's, who's he's never good. been. A, you're talking about a guy who's used to be you play for the World Cup, right? I mean, there's for, from an England domestic type of a deal. There come could on, be. We could, there could we be a deal there. We can't get the same amount for Harry Winks in the Premier League that we would get for Delhi. That you said forty for Delhi. The championship and, side coming up. Yeah. No way. Oh, come on now. They would not straight. Swap. Nobody in their right mind would straight swap Max Aaron's for Harry Winks right now. Nobody. I bet you'd be surprised, especially you with them losing, yeah. losing you gotta, Skip. You got to tackle because you think like they got to pay Winks still, right? Too. What if we swap Skip for for Max Aaron's? No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I just put Tanganga right back before I did that. But I'd say you'd probably have to throw 10 mil with Winks. I'm going to tell you right now, Skip's had this bang super season, breaks his foot, and then it's going to come back and be hog bogger for us. He's going to be the next Harry Winks? Good until he got hurt? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why, why can't we have nice things? Like, a last fucking game doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? A broken foot, man, if it doesn't heal right, can be a nagging, when it's one of those nagging injuries that just causes pain week <sighs> after week. And you know how these soft these kids are today? No, we, were doing, we were doing fine not talking about football. We were doing just fine. We were cruising. We were losing subscribers right now. <laughs> So the kid said, bro, I found my dad's phone, my mom's phone, my neighbor's phone, my goldfish's phone, my dog's phone, and some random guy walking outside sub to your channel. <laughs> hey, keep it up, man. Keep it <laughs> up. Brilliant. That's a brilliant comment, though, by the way. Well thought out. That's great. The best part was some random guy walking by. <laughs> but yeah, but that, that foot injury makes makes me extremely concerned. 
putting those thoughts out to the universe, man. Law of attraction. Don't just think he'll be fine. He'll be good. He'll come back. He'll boss it. We'll be good. We'll win the league next year. Everything will be fine. Ah, it makes me nervous. Yeah, everything makes me nervous. I'm afraid to wake up. I'm afraid to I'm afraid to open Twitter in the mornings. You know, by the time I wake up, even though it's still like 6 a.m. here, that's that's a five hour head start for everyone over there in the UK looking to fucking shit all over my day, just pissing in my coffee before I wake up. <laughs> that that or group chat. For me, for me, like last night, what was I doing? I was designing something, I was drawing something. And uh and then she's like, plot twist, the skip come back. I think he comes back. I don't think Daniel Levy's going to sell him, but I don't think he has a choice. But it doesn't mean he's going to play play for us like he played for for them, fortunately. But I was, I was staying up for doing something. And so next thing you know, it's like 3.30, 3.35. So that's about 8 a.m. And then the Twitter starts going, burr, 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 burr. the WhatsApp group started popping up. Burr, 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 burr. And then so I start looking at what they're saying, and then I'm up at least for another hour. And I'm like, God, might as well get some work done while I'm up here. And uh, it's rough. The time zone difference is rough. We got Lord Valdemont, aka Daniel Levy, saying that the left testicle has been talking to the right testicle for some time. Time for some manscape, you too. Hey, I'm okay with that. That's a comment that I would make. Um, but you know, for you, get out of here. That noise. Uh, it is Yah. Who is Yah? Oh, I asked Brian uh, if he, he said that uh, Aaron's was valued at 22. I just asked him if it was according to uh, transfer market, which he said yes. But I don't I don't think he'll go for less than 30. Oh, is that yeah? It is, yeah. It is according to transfer market. But transfer market says Eric Dyer's worth $27 million, so. Is that like a Canadian yeah? We don't say yeah. We say a yeah. yeah. Yeah is Dakota, Fargo. Uh, yeah, yeah. We say a. Yeah, I, I, I was. We spell yeah y e h. <laughs> he said yes. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, it's all good. I was just curious. Like I was like yeah because yeah, you know, Korean means it's like hey, like a, like a very get out of my. Get out of my face. When you yell at somebody, they say, yeah. My wife says, yeah, to me a lot. Um, by the way, that NBA guy was the one walking random outside. Oh, sweet. Good deal. But anyway, what are we talking? Dude, this show sucks today. <laughs> <Sorry about> that. <laughs> It just sucks today. There's kicks that, like there's there are parts that are absolutely have been absolute gold. There have been parts that have been gold, and then there's been like this awkward dead airspace for like five minutes because we'll read a comment that completely like derails our train of thought. This is what happens when I read comments. That's why I normally don't read them because I get I get sidetracked fairly mm -hmm. easily. Are you active on Twitter? Nah, like you have a, you have nah. a Twitter account, but but are you like Twitter is my that's my place. That's 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 the only real social media that I use. I still have Facebook just for like video calls and things like that. But Twitter is that's my that's my that's my place. No, I, like I mean where I spend most of my time. I mean, if we want to, we could go into like screen time and, and see where we spend most of our time. Um, I'm on YouTube, dude. Yeah, no, I'm on YouTube a lot right now too. So, oh, there's so much good like Spurs YouTube content going. We're not on even right like now. Spurs. Like I'm telling you, I watch like I'm an absolute nerd, and Brian Ireland will enjoy this. Um, but there is, to be honest with you, I couldn't even tell you the, you know, like I watch shows on. And now that I'm doing this this type of a thing, I've joined this sphere, and, and I've always watched a lot of these channels before, but now it's gotten even worse. 
but I'm watching like alpha gaming and, and getting, you know, lighting and streaming setups. And even though it's not related to Spurs content, it's like really good advice on streaming and, and stuff like that. I think media, um, you know, and all of that stuff to how to build a YouTube channel and, and camera reviews and like even like if people are looking today and you're saying, man, Will's picture looks a little bit crisper than normal. It's because I totally realized that for like the last four weeks, I've had my camera in a portrait mode, which makes everything soft. And I didn't even notice it. So, you know, now I'm all crisp. You can see the each individual strand of my beard and, you know. The reason that I was asking about Twitter is that you see like lots of accounts out there who they're Enoch out and, and that's fine. That's good. I'm, I'm Enoch out as well. You know, whether, whether we can actually force the sale of Tottenham Hotspur is another debate, but we, we very well could put pressure on them through means that have been discussed at length on multiple channels. So we don't have to really get into it. But like when I, the thing is like, I will see some of these Twitter accounts come across someone who is like an Enoch defender for lack of a better term. And like, instead of like having like, and I know Twitter isn't exactly a place where you have real conversations with people, but if you're Enoch out and you are like shouting down and hurling insults at people who don't agree with you, that does absolutely nothing for the Enoch out movement. In fact, it probably just solidifies the other person. It hardens them in their own position. So if you're on social media and, and you want to help the cause, engage in, in, in as much of a meaningful debate as you can and, and just share your opinion and do it calmly. You know, you don't, yeah, need, to, don't, you don't need to call someone. You don't need to say that someone is pathetic because they don't agree with you. You know what I mean? No, 100%. I, I don't think people, I don't think that's indicative of the Enoch out movement. I think it's no, indicative of that. Spurs fans because it's just, there's many it people. happened. The, it happened. The exa- it happened with Jose inners and Jose outers it's happening with Enix. It happened to me with the ESL comments. I mean, I, I wasn't even for the ESL, and I had people like trashing me all over YouTube and Twitter, you know, calling me a, a, a page Daniel Levy shill and 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 or you know, American trash or or stuff like that. I still get that crap. I get called. I, I saw like I, I I happened to go to the uh, post match fan show to to watch it back the other day from We Are Tottenham TV. And there was a comment in there that said, why are there so many Yanks on here? Yeah. But anyways, I I know that Twitter isn't the place to have a soul <laughs> full debate with, with someone. But there's just no there's just no need. You're not helping your own cause by just getting I couldn't I face. couldn't I couldn't you know? debate on Twitter because when I debate, I get really winded. So my my messages are like like that and you have you can only hype so much i'd have to like retweet tweet and then re-comment on myself for like a bunch i I, I can't i'm not one good at at, at combining words do you take call-in will not on this show we don't do call-ins on this show Maybe, maybe we will in the future um uh, but we do take questions from the comments. That's kind of what we, what we focus on here. Let the comments get involved. Uh, uh, that's what Will Modus asks him. Um, you lot put more time into football over there, here, over here than I probably do. You guys get up at a ridiculous time to watch that scrap. Yeah, we got to get up at 7.30 this weekend. Well, that's if we wake up what time the match starts. If we want to wake up and participate in any of the fan stuff, we got to wake up like 6.00. Key, to be honest with you, the only comment um, Bobby says he's always calm. Do 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 do. Yeah, don't think I didn't see your guys' little conversation I had that you and David had today, Bob's for. Even though I didn't participate, doesn't mean I was working. Doesn't mean I didn't see it. Dan Le- Daniel Levy masterclass. That's exactly what what Levy and Enoch want is for us to be just fighting amongst ourselves over nothing. The and Cody Mac is- Cody Mac performed a little Grand Potter magic here. 
and uh, expel Ramus, Lord Vordemont. Um, <laughs> it's going to be an early morning. You're telling me, dude. You're telling me. Before I was in the YouTube sphere, there'd be times when I would wake up and like at, 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 at halftime. I'd usually miss the first half and just watch the second half. Because then it's like 8.30, not 7.30. Sorry, you call them chips? Or French fries? No. Or chips? Crisps? Those are those are French fries. No, no, sorry. Crisps are chips. Crisps are chips to us. Yes. Chips are French fries. Or fries. We just say fries probably. Here in America, we don't really say French anymore. Remember there was the whole Patriot Fries movement after the... You didn't hear about that? What's that? The French, there's a French, something happened like back in like 2013, 2012 or something like that where France did something or objected to something that we were doing or something like that. And so Americans got ticked off and there was this whole movement across the left that um, was, uh, um, uh, you know, calling them freedom fries. Nobody, you can't call them French fries anymore. So, we just, so after that, people just tend to call them fries. They've, re they've dropped the French. Like, even McDonald's doesn't call them French fries anymore. So they just call them McDonald's fries. Right. McDonald's fries. Bob Spur. Bob Spur, be nice. Be nice. What, what, uh, what do you think about uh, Leeds? <laughs> I think they're a good team, dude. I think they're fun to watch. They are fun to watch. They're kind of like... Uh... They're kind of like a little Tottenham mini, you know? Anyone who wants to get their fix of the Tottenham way, just watch Leeds United. It's beautiful. It's exciting. It's mid table. It's 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 like being able to watch someone play the Tottenham way without having a vested interest in it. It should be like, oh, they gave up another goal. Look at that. Back and forth. Run, run. <laughs> They could never play that way and be in Europe at the same time. No way. You couldn't play like that twice a week. I tell you, I'll take Phillips over Winks in a heartbeat, dude. In a heartbeat. Maybe we could do like Winks plus cash to Leeds for Phillips. What do I you think, think Holly? Leeds are probably going to look to spend again. They spent quite a bit last summer, didn't they? Yeah, and Leeds is a pretty big club, dude. They actually have quite a bit of money and, and, and an old school following so they have a big history yep but they the, the way that they play you know that the, the first match where we we kind of cakewalked them three nil kind of played right into the way that jose likes to play so how do you see this game playing out it's <sighs> not we, we don't play that way anymore do we I mean, we, we we actually played them quite well the first time around with Jose in the house. Yeah. They're a dangerous team that can hurt you. Um, like, if we try to play front-footed football against a team like Leeds that has better speed, better fitness, better passing, are we going to get exposed? Yeah. I don't know. And the Yid kid says, he says, watching it, from America is a mess. Sometimes the game is happening in the middle. Shouldn't you be at school right now? Are you watching us when you should be doing your remote learning? Your dad's going to kill me. If I was your dad, Ben, you know how much stress that's been for me, for dads? You know how much, look, it's stress for the kids too. I, I appreciate your perspective, but you got to understand. And he's going to be like, oh, great. Will's taking my dad's side on this. It's a stressful thing, dude. When you got emails from teachers and teachers calling and your kids who are normally straight A students are now getting F's because simply because they're not doing their assignments. But when you walk in the kitchen, they say they're doing their assignments. Jeez. Just get your assignments done, you kid. Trust me. All right. It'll pay off one day. But Yeah, so who else who else would you take at Spurs? From Leeds. Um, who's their left back? Not not ailing. Yeah, 
I'd take Ailey. For our number two over Davies? Heck yeah. Dallas? Dallas is center back, though, isn't he? Yeah. Stuart Dallas, I would take for sure. I would take Rafinha. Rafinha. I would take Jack Harrison. I would take Calvin Phillips. Cal- Rafinha Phillips. Um, probably. Would you take Patrick Bamford? No. I, I probably no, wouldn't either. Bamford could stay. Yeah. They he really could stay. A, they they have problems at the keeper position. Eh? They need a, they need a new keeper. I know I know Mesley is a young. The dude's a toothpick, man. He's a kid. He's a toothpick. He he definitely hasn't fulfilled his potential. Oh, yet. Cody! I know I for totally forgot. Uh oh. We very well could be now. I've been looking. I've been looking, and we very well could be now. The largest active YouTube channel in North America. Wow. So you might say that we are a big bird. We are a big bird. We are the big bird. We're the big dog in North America that I can find. I've been looking. It's hard to tell which channels, but I'm telling you, man, we're there. And and, and the, it looks like it's only going up and up and up. Um, we are. What are we on right now? 539. I mean, that's good. That's like eight new subs just from this video alone. Yeah, considering like how little we've actually discussed and <laughs> how bad the video's been. Hey, anyway. subs on this video, man. I'm talking it up. If you like shit content, win. If you like to laugh at two bald guys that look like testicles, according to smash, Lord Voldemort, smash a sub. Smash a sub. Smash the sub right now. Smash that like. Smash that sub. Yes, over if, here. If you join the Patreon, we will literally spit in your face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We will get Cody to drop a deuce inside the sound hole of his guitar. Operation Vindaloo. <laughs> I don't think you heard what I said. <laughs> no, I heard. <laughs> um, do you actually play that thing, or is it just a prop in the basement for you? <laughs> uh, I, I, it comes and goes. I'll have I'll have stretches where where I'll play every day for months on end, and then I'll put it down and won't pick it up for a bit. I, I haven't picked it up lately. Yeah, dude, I used to go by Liam Stewart, and I used to do. I used to be a singer songwriter, and and played in bars in my twenties. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just a boom janger, like campfire, play for personal self self taught. I don't understand music theory or anything like that. I'm self taught too. I mean, I do know and understand a little bit of music theater because I'm a little bit of a nerd and I like to research things. And I get passionate. But when I was in it, man, I used to write songs, do all kinds of stuff. Um, I I started playing the guitar around 13. Was in punk bands. Uh, pop punk bands or you know skate punk bands from like 16 to 20 16 to yeah 16 to 20 lucky 13 was fairly big we'd play concerts around two three hundred people it was this, fun this would be like the golden age of of songwriting if you were going to write songs about tottenham you know assuming that you know we're not close to actually having true glory but like and what like when you have political strife or or turmoil within a country, it t- tends to in- inspire the artistic, you know. No, one hundred percent. Yeah, pain, hurt, all that stuff. Brian Ireland wants to start a band. Yeah, Brian's Brian plays some music too. Let's uh, I play. I play bass. I sing. Hold on, I gotta go let my kid in. He's ringing the doorbell. I'll be right ding back. Dong, ding dong. You, you guys can talk. Okay. Talk about the band. No, I want to give like a little scalp massage here, you know. What is, what does everybody think if we were going to start a band? Okay, Tottenham Hotspur su- subscript. You know, like what 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 would be a good name for the band? You know, Glory, something to do with Glory. Me on drums. I don't play the drums well. I could see us playing a protest. That would just we're, we'll go to an Audi dealership. You, me, Brian Ireland, and Will Stewart will meet somewhere and 
Cleveland and we'll go to an Audi dealership and do an Enoch protest. <laughs> the new Lincoln Park, the Bread Spurs. The Bread Spurs, not bad. Yeah, I can play bass, I can play guitar, a little bit of drums. Brian Ireland, what are you playing? Glory testicles. <laughs> Experiamas. <laughs> what are you playing, Brian? I can sing a little bit too. People got a little bit of it, a little off key singing of me on Maddie's channel for the watch law. Kid Kid wants to know if we would go to a protest in America. I am Canadian, so no, I'm not going to America. <laughs> not anytime okay, so soon. Something like a three or four hour drive. You got to get over there, get that, that, that the cheap stuff, the duty free stuff. We can call, ourselves, call ourselves, Brian Ireland says, the bottlers. Yep, call us about dude. I'm telling you, I love going to Canada. I love going to Canada because it's like you go there, you buy stuff, and then when you leave, you get like half your money back. <laughs> <laughs> I, if I was American, I would like coming to Canada too. <laughs> no, like because well, you go to the, when you go out, you take receipts of all the crap that you bought and while you're in Canada, and they give you all the duty back. Yeah. Do you uh do you still have family in Missouri? Yeah, most of my family's in Missouri. My my wife has uh she has an uncle that lives in in Kansas, and uh, we haven't been down there for quite a while, obviously. But at some point, we'll probably plan a trip down there. Where out uh, in Kansas? Kansas City. Ah, uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Okay. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Big difference. <laughs> I think we went over there. I think there was, there was one video where we did this on Chiefs, for the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm a St. Louis Cardinals fan, Lord Valdemont, so the uh, they can't get past the Yankees can't get past the Cardinals either. So. See, that's the problem with St. Louis is you're in you're in the Stanley Cup playoffs every season. All right, you get into the postseason every year. I mean, it's almost guaranteed. There's the oddball year where they don't get in. But they've won one Stanley Cup in like 50 years or some crap like that. Got Terry Wright, St. Louis native. Very cool, Terry. I'm a St. Louis native myself. Um, We're out in St. Louis. I'm down there in St. Charles County over by Wentzville. I think I hate the Cardinals more than any other baseball team. Because they're the best? Yeah, yeah. Because they they always have been good. They're not the best really right now, but like... Well, the, in the National League, they have the best winning record. They have the most World Series championships, the most... Um, bad, bad. Yeah, yeah I hate them. You don't have to convince me. I hate them. <laughs> yeah. I love the Cardinals. Redbirds. Yeah, this is good, man, Cody. <clears throat> Dan S is one Stanley Cup win ever. Yeah. It's okay. But they're always in the playoffs, though. I mean, can you remember a time when the St. Louis Blues haven't been in the postseason? It doesn't happen very often. No, they're incredible. Incredibly consistent. It's like they but they always get knocked out in the first round. <laughs> the first round of it. Or the second round. So I mean it was like when they won the Stanley Cup, dude, it was like I was pretty happy when, when the Blues won the cup. That was a pretty good story because weren't they like an eight seed the year that they won or seven seed going into playoffs? Yeah, they should have been out. We, this is the season where like we were we got in like we were lucky to get in, and then they ended up ended up taking it postseason. Man, I can't. I don't watch hockey anymore. You know, I watched the postseason. Yeah, do the Cubs always make it into the into the playoffs postseason? No, it just means the Cubs, like, you only have the one. Oh, yeah. The one Stanley Cup. That's what it is about St. Louis. So, so for to be a St. Louis fan of sports, you know, we just watch postseason. It's like we don't watch the regular season. Because <laughs> it doesn't get fun until the postseason. Especially for the Cardinals, dude. Like, in their division, there's just nobody, you know? I mean, what? Is this, are the Cubs going to get us or something? Let me ask you a question. If... If Tottenham Hotspur, somebody snapped their finger, let's say Lord Voldemort snapped his fingers and Tottenham disappeared, who who could you see yourself supporting in the Premier League or, or in English football? 
I, mean, I like, I think Aston Villa. I like Aston Villa um, only because I have a friend um, who's a Villa supporter and he kind of got me. And then I like Jack Grealish. And uh, Watkins is pretty cool. Um, Mamazi, he's, I think he's pretty good. Um, Wolves. Not this year so much, but last year and the year before that, they were fun to watch. I think I'd take a long look at Brentford. I, mean, I like Evan Tony. Yeah, they just seem to be good at developing talent, though. So, like... Uh, I think they have a good scouting because yeah. they bought, they didn't really develop. I mean, the Watkins played from for like a season and a half. Right. So, I mean, yeah. it's like, that's part of it. They're just, they're, they're scouting department. Whoever is their head of scouting should, should get a look at from Totten, to be honest with you. Eugene, in the, it's a hypothetical Spurs no longer exist. But, uh, yeah. Spurs blew up. Or they never existed. They were Thanos. So you think? Do you think Gasparini is your, still your your choice for manager? Like, if you could pick anybody right now, I think he's a good shout, dude. I really do. He plays really good football. I mean, Atlanta has been. You, you're talking about like a, a mid table team that all of a sudden became in a. It was to, It was totally a Pochettino story. You know what I mean? He took a sixth, seventh place team and got him consistently top four for like three years in a row, three four years in a row. Do you think? And they've been like beating teams well, and with average players as well. Do you think that uh, the it, it, depending on who the manager is next, that that Harry Kane will make a decision this summer? Um, I'm sorry, I was reading Mr. K. In his comment, yeah, it, 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 the the algorithm there for that, Mr. K, was uh, they don't like the word shit. So as a mod, you're just going to have to, um, you know, click it. I can't do anything about it, but I have to do it to keep the, um, the F word, F bombs out of there. And then the trolling too. Like I don't, the cool thing about that auto system, what it's really good at is like person were to post like, you know, emojis, like a whole huge line of emojis or text characters or do whatever. It just keeps that stuff out of there. Yeah, but don't worry about it. If you roll through there, and if it doesn't pull it through, uh, just just let it go. I mean, yeah, or just approve it. Hit, yeah, that's what I do on We Are Tottenham TV all the time. I have to approve people, people's comments. The only ones that just, like the F word, but even now we're not monetized now. But I just thought I, it's good to get in the habit of doing it, right? Kind of train the train the commenters to you know use like Dan just did there with the little. SH Dink. Um, wow, we got a, a Twitch comment. Thank you, Mr. Twitcher. Bert Raccoon says, The Harry Kane debate is a non-starter. There is no club currently able to spend the region of 200 million plus to praise him, to prize him from Levy's cold, Baldermont hands. Yeah. But if Harry Kane decided to force his way out, would he not? Would we not have to get get rid? Like, or do you think that Harry Kane is the type of player who, like, it would be handled internally, where it's like, okay, he would approach Levy, he would say, "Look, I want to move," and Levy would say, "Yeah, I don't know if we can get what we need," you know, and then he would just play, and nobody would know that he had actually requested a transfer, or is it all? Would it be public by by Lord Voldemort? Yeah, he's the nicest honest. troll ever. Yeah. <laughs> Come back. Seriously. Come back anytime. Come back anytime. I like trolls, especially when they're fun. Like if you're a funny troll, I li- I like trolls. Nothing wrong with them. I like funny trolls. The ones that get like dumb or racial racist yeah, or something yeah. like that. You got me. You got he's come at you again, Cody. He says Harry Kane is not the sort of person I think Levy would listen to offers for him if he wanted to leave, but he- he wouldn't do him any favor. I don't think he has a choice, though, to be honest with you. Or, um, no, yeah, Daniel Levy doesn't have a choice. If Harry Kane doesn't want to play, he could totally tank our season. Do you think- and I wouldn't be mad if he did it. 
Like if Harry if Harry Kane came out in the press and said, I've gone to Daniel Levy and I've told him that I wanted to 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 move on so that I can have a chance of winning trophies and he's not willing to do the to, to the club. And so I'm gonna sit on the center spot for the whole match. I wouldn't be mad at him as a, as a Tottenham fan who's seen what Harry Kane has given for this club over the last six, seven years. I wouldn't be mad at him. No, couldn't be. I'd say, I'd say, take your wages, man. Take your 200K a year, dude, and sit on the bench, man. Let Daniel Levy eat what he what he's created for himself. That's what I would do if I was Harry Kane. You can't stop. That's the thing, man. It's like he, he can do, all he has to do is what he's contra- contractually obligated to do. He's not contractually obligated to play well on the weekend. Right? He's got to show up to practice. He's got to do all of those things. But he doesn't have to do it well. What 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 was going on with Kane on the weekend? I don't know. He's been he's been having you those think- things. He does look every time Kane goes out or gets hurt or does anything, it he always takes about three to four weeks to get back in step. Only problem is we don't have three or four. Well, I guess if he's fit, if he's fit and firing for Leicester, I'm cool with that. Although I think Aston Villa is probably going to be the hardest one because I have a feeling Jack Grealish. Is Jack Grealish? What's what's the words on Jack Grealish? Have you heard any news on Jack Grealish? No. Do you think? Do you think that that Kane is? You know, he's playing. He's probably still a little bit hobbled. First of all, but do you think that he is reluctant to get into the vulnerable positions because he's trying to? Stay fit for Euros? Could be. Could be. I'm not 100% sure. Because he just, he didn't, he, he looked pretty bad. <laughs> he looked pretty bad. Like sometimes, he, sometimes, every, like every player is going to lay an egg from time to time. But Kane looked pretty bad, even when he got himself into a. Even coming out, I'm telling you, walk. anytime he comes back from an injury, like it's the same thing with the uh, Zagreb. Game two, you know, anytime he gets comes back from a nick or a bump or a tump, it usually takes him a good two to three weeks weekends to get back, get back firing. You know, I think it's just something about him playing week in and week out that whenever he has to sit for a while, he just gets tight. Yeah, for sure. Touch wasn't there. Nothing was working for him. Six for ten by sure. Sun looked, yeah. Sun, sun was firing, but less a good thing about him is that when one's being poor, the other one's usually, you know, on it. I was just so frustrated watching because it's like, all right, we're popping goals left and right here in the second half. You and me and both. I captained him in fantasy football. I mean, he's sitting at the top of the assist chart. He's sitting at the top of the. He's leading the Golden Boot race. It's like, man, it's like the last thing. If you're, if you're, if you're being realistic and you're saying to yourself as a supporter that top four is not a possibility anymore. Really the last thing that we could do to save some scrap of pride this season would be for Harry Kane to get player of the year would be Harry Kane to get the individual accolades that, you know, since we can't, (laughs) we can't get any team accolades, you know what I mean? So it's just like Regulon, Regulon firing it wide at the death. It was just like, come on, man. Like, Let's try and get us to we've we've reached our. I agree with you 100, percent Cody. One one thousand million percent. I think your bank you're spot on with with that. And I, I I think it's fair to call Kane out. I don't think people should give him a special pass when he plays because people don't give Son the same pass that they give Harry Kane when he miss when he doesn't perform. Um, but let's get this video. We've got we need one more subscriber to get to 560 or 540. I wish 540. Let's get that one subscriber. I know there's at least 46 people watching. According to the statistics, that means there's at least four people out there who haven't subbed. Um, all we need is one of you to go ahead and hit that red button. We appreciate it. Cody, we've reached our hour and a half, my man. Baby's still sleeping right now. You can keep going if you want. You can keep going for a little bit. Just let me know because I do have I do have a little bit of work to do myself, but I don't have to get it done till five, but it's going to take me about an hour. So I could go till four, but I will also... Um, we have to be mindful that that's when the, um, that, but I don't think we'll go that long. We have 540. Look at that. You guys rock. 
541. Let's get to 570. <laughs> Let's get to 2000. Come on, guys. Are you That's serious? The, we can't get to 2000? The, the Yid Kid's just opening <laughs> new ghost accounts. Just, how fast can you type, Yid Kid? Man. Yid Kid, how many, how many accounts can you make in an hour? Right? <laughs> um, Your Twitch uh, commenter I mean, said something else, too. What's more surprising, Serge Aurier having a good game or Harry Kane having a bad day at the office? Probably Serge Aurier having a good game at this point. Yeah, he had a but really good game. He, he didn't did. make any mistakes. Well, th there was no attacking threat, to be honest, especially yeah. down his side of the pitch, right? Anything um, that they did tended to be up the middle. Yeah. And so, yeah, he didn't have to. He was not put under pressure at all. Honestly, he probably could have just stayed up in in, in there, that up far up corner and, and been fine. Um, Regulon needs to do shooting drills. I, he's, I, I think that's a bit, that's a bit harsh. That's a bit harsh. Regulon. Yeah, it's one. It's one play, but yeah, he he scored quite a few. Has um, he? Not for us, but I mean, in his career as left back, <laughs> yeah, like for for Sevilla, he was amazing. Oh yeah, Bergwijn was amazing for for PSV too. So was he though? Really? If you looked at well, the stats, if the goal if stats, we're, were, if we're comparing him to what he's done for Tottenham, then yes. But where he scored quite a few goals this season. I think like we're all PSG today, right? Anybody? There can't be anybody outside of Man City fans who actually That's want Thunder? Man City to win. I'm here in Thunder. I'm I'm pretty far away. <laughs> you gotta count in between the blasts, Cody, to see how far away the lightning is. <laughs> um, is this so? This is for manager. Yeah. Rogers is not going to happen. I mean, if we're if we're if we're talking like doesn't matter whether or not it's realistic, I don't even know if I would take Brendan Rogers. I don't know if I would take any of these three. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> I'm with you. I, I'm on the Gasparini train. I like we Gasparini. Have, we have to provide a united front on the uh, THFC rant channel here. And he's old, too. Yeah, 65, but he's not, right? Yeah, but he's not super, super old. So he's going to get respect. Nobody's going to come out. I mean, they might call him, you know, geezer or something like that, but instead of gaffer, but. If Jose, know. if Jose couldn't, I don't know. But Jose's not quite that yo, and he's kind of. He's, he, Joseph's kind of hooty 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 ha. You know, he's a little bit of a bubbly dude. Yeah. Joseph's a lightning rod. He's, to be honest, he's, he, he kind of reminds me of myself, where he can be too corny sometimes. And so because he can be corny and then yet serious at the same time, people tend to tend to not take him as serious. You know what I mean? Because you don't know what to do. Whereas like someone like Bielsa, they, he's probably just like all the time, right? You know, just... Just angry and mad all the time. Yeah. But, yeah. We'll probably get Graham Potter. And then Ryan Mason will go somewhere else and win cups. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, it is pissing right out there now. It was literally like sunny. Like when I opened the door for my son, what was that, 10 minutes ago? It was sunny, sunny as can be. That's okay. The older two, they can run in the rain. I love it. Do you think if City get knocked out, if if City don't win the Champions League, is their season a failure? Um, dude, we're at five fifty now. What the heck is going on? Man, we need to talk about the football less. <laughs> right. I don't know what's going on here? Whatever it is, I'm liking it. Five fifty. Holy crap! It's rock. I don't know what the yid kids doing. We keep doing it, buddy. <laughs> He's gonna be sitting at home making up YouTube accounts. <laughs> we need a thousand. And then all of a sudden we're gonna go, we're gonna go up to a thousand, and then YouTube's gonna catch on, and it's gonna go, and we're gonna lose yep. like half our, yep, half our subscribers. 
Or global warming, yeah. That's what, that's what kids do, dude. That's what kids do. I don't think you could actually say that Manchester City with two trophies in the bag would it would be a failure. But they're kind of getting to that level, like that evil empire level. Where... So Lappers82, he subscribed. Maybe it's real people doing it. Thanks, Lappers. I appreciate it, man. Good to this see you here. This guy's hilarious, by the way. I love Lappers too. He's one of those, he's one of those other like super good trolls. Yeah. Yeah. Like cool the, the good kind, the funny kind. And I only call you a troll because of your your profile the pick. Profile pick, yeah. But uh Maybe we're just getting real subscribers, man. That's awesome. Everyone in the comments, let us know what time of day you guys want to see more content. Would would you like if we did a midday UK time, you know, like 11, 11 a.m. UK time? Would you tune in? What what time works for you? Just let us know in the comments. Want to see something? Yeah, or also to jump on our Discord server. We've got ten people there now too, and there's a space for like general chat, shirt ideas, show topics. Um, um, stuff like that. There's also some voice chat. I think you can hear the rain when I talk. I can hear it in my own headphones whenever I talk. Yeah, it sounds like hail, actually. Yeah, I have a noise gate on my microphone, so when I don't talk, it shuts itself off. Basically, it's kind of like those new electric, you know, those new cars. You know that that when you push on the brake, it does it. But whenever I speak, you can hear it. Oh, well, I think City scored. Goal yeah. to City. <laughs> That's pretty shitty. Uh, but, you know, I was I was rooting for Potch to get it through, to get it done, get back to the final, and, and to win it. Because uh, one, I I I I'd like to see Chelsea lose. Could you imagine Potch beating Chelsea in the final? Can you imagine we finish fourth and Chelsea win the Champions League? Yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe Chelsea's even gotten that far. I mean, we beat them. You know, with our B team against their B team in the in the league in the EFL, looks like Riyad Mahrez goal scorer for Manchester City. That is not good. He's a good winger too, to be honest with you. It's not well, as good P as Foden, but if PSG win, they're through. You know, they got to score at least two away goals. But maybe that first goal is, is a good thing. It helps them. It makes them go for two. You know what I mean? Like you can't just get one and and then feel like you're winning the match. You know what I mean? Sometimes having that, um, do you think that okay? So right now, if the season ended today in France, Lille would win the cha the championship. So if if PSG don't because they made the finals of Champions League last year. So if they get knocked out, or even if they just don't win Champions League, and they don't win the league title, is Pochettino in trouble? Um, he could be. Maybe he could be. He could be on the cutting bo chopping board, the way France chops people. Maybe that's the next rumor I should start. Is that if uh, if PSG you get knocked out of the Champions League? Potch I think they'll give him at least one full season. Potch is coming back. You know what I mean? I think they'd give him at least one full season. Would you come give back if you were Potch? He hasn't even had a transfer window. Would you come back if you were Potch, though? Uh, I'd like him to. I'd like him to. Yeah, you kid, don't make it so obvious, my man. Like, I appreciate it, but don't make it, <laughs> don't make it so obvious. Um... Uh, unless he's like, unless he's totally like in this, has this like troll group, and they're all just popping in. Um, <laughs> he's got if 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 it is him, if it's just if it's just him, he's got excellent typing skills. I'm seeing loser pool FC, brick herd. Yeah, no. Paul Russell says couldn't trust Mister Levy. Yeah, I can't see. I can't see Potch wanting to come in if Levy is still involved on the footballing side. Yeah, no, ten thousand percent, man. Um, 
But there's been a lot of real ones, too, because, like, I know I've seen Lapras 82. Unless Lapras 82 is Yid Kid, too, but I don't think so. But he's, 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 there we got, we've, Yid Kid has been helping to, 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 to boost the numbers. But there's, there's been some real ones, too. Like Lord Valdemont, I've seen him around in other places. Unless all of those people are, are the Yid Kid. Uh, no. Five fifty-eight now. Oh, it's all good, Yid Kid. Don't worry about it. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'll, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take every 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 account. Cause like even like you get to big accounts, you got seventy thousand. Half of those are are are, are troll accounts and, or people that don't watch them too. You know what I mean? So. Mister K's comment there is funny. It but all helps coming with. Back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Potch and Toby. <laughs> Yeah, he's at school and he's getting all of his his, his uh his schoolmates to to join up. Hundred percent, dude, love it. Doomsday Tottenham Hotspurs, Jerry Smith. Are you making a association here? Do you know who I am, Jeremy? Do you know my true identity? Thank you, Lever. I know. I do believe you that you're real. I, I actually, I enjoy, always enjoy the Lapper's comments. You know, they always make me giggle. No, I've, I own a fishing tackle company. It's called Doomsday Tackle Company. So when he said Doomsday Tottenham Hotspurs, and I do live streams for them. So I was like, are you, are, have you, are you releasing my secret identity? My Batman? DTC. DTCO. Yeah, I'm, I'm Googling you. Yep, yeah, Doomsday Tackle Company. Just do Google Will Stewart Doomsday Tackle Company. You'll see all kinds of crazy videos from years and years and years. How'd you get into that? Um, It was... A, <laughs> am I a big fisherman? <laughs> yeah, I used to be. Now I'm in the business of it. But... um. But no, I mean, it was a hobby. I loved doing it. It was a passion. And I said to my wife, when we moved to Korea in 2007, I said, I'm going to end up working for a fishing company. I taught English, fished, got, got a little bit of sponsorship, fished some little local tournaments, ended up working for one of the largest fishing tackle companies in the world, designing baits. And uh, so basically, just like I'm doing with this right here, I turned that into, you know, owning 10% and in, uh, in a fairly successful uh, brand. What about uh, Delete's comment here? Worried about who we can actually get as manager next season. Thoughts on bail for another season at Spurs. I, too, am worried about who we can get as a manager. I'm start I'm starting to think every day that goes by that we don't have a deal in place for next year the more I think that Ryan Mason is going to just be left in the position. And I'm not, not a big fan of that bail for another season. I think it's happening. I think it's happening for sure. Yeah. And I think I, I would take him back for, for I, like I said to Bob Spur in, in the WhatsApp group, I said, uh, I don't, don't think that we're going to get a discount or anything like that because I don't think Perez is going to be doing Levy any favors after yeah, the way that they, he, he, he will make that back on the, the the wages. Gareth Bale will not end up costing us money at $12 million for for a full season. Especially with fans coming back. Yep, no, Lappers, we know. We were just joking because there was there was a thing going on. You just kind of got tied up to it. You probably hopped on, jumped in, hit the button. <laughs> like, uh, he says he has family in Halifax. Virginia or Canada? Oh, Canada. I am in Ontario. I live about two hours north of Toronto in cottage country, Muskoka. So not close to Halifax. Dr. Levy. Here, there you are. Ba-da! Dr. Levy. For a kid, dude, you're pretty, you're pretty clever. I'm liking the... You got you got the you got the, the trolling on point, man. 
Love it. Mescobar, what's up? If Pachi what's going on, Mescobar? Lose, if he loses today, what does that say? Uh, it says he lost to Man City. He hasn't had a transfer window yet, right? You got to remember, he hasn't had any time at all. You seen PSG squad? How much better can they get on paper? What, what's, their um, weakness? what's their weakness? I mean, if you're a chef, that's. that's mid, all, I think that's the midfield. I think the midfield is a bit is a bit fluffy. Yeah, I, I think there's a lack of chemistry in the midfield that. That needs to do it. You know what I mean? Fair enough. Do you think it's harder for he PSG says, to? He probably is just in class and having all of his friends subscribe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's his teacher. He's not even joke. That's, that's hilarious. Do you think it's harder for? For Paris Saint Germain to to win the Champions League because of the level of competition that goes on in France, like <sighs> do they not get enough quality opposition? I I, I don't, don't want to be one of these people that that looks that turns their nose up at the other leagues because no, everybody turns everybody turns their nose up at Liga, oh, dude. Everybody turns their nose up to it. But like everybody. Like their goal difference is plus fifty two. Right? Yeah. And the top four teams, all of them have a goal difference of at least thirty two. Yeah, it's it's there needs to be you know, to be honest with you, for teams like for teams in La Liga and teams in in Syria and teams in Liga and teams in even really even in the Bundesliga, Super League makes sense. You know what I mean? Like a Super League makes sense. Like if you were to do a fun Super League, right? You take those teams, have those teams be in it perpetually, and then the top ten teams from the Premier League qualify. Right then, English football doesn't change. Right, English football doesn't change. That league is already right. But then the top ten English teams qualify and they play like in a in a, in a super league. You know, ten v ten. Get ten teams from the other three leagues. Right, ten teams from England and the top ten teams. So if you finish top ten in the season before, right, and you can start the inaugural season with teams that have traditionally finished in the top ten over the past ten seasons or something like that. The the based on a coefficient. But then after that season, after Steven, the top 10 teams get into playing a midweek thing. I think that would be a well, because then you're getting in based on merit, right? Except for the other teams in the other leagues. But to be honest with you, they're going to be there anyway. You know what I mean? Then it's not franchise-based. You know what I'm saying? You're... Shut up, Escobar. <laughs> <laughs> don't twist me but th that way it's based on merit you know what I mean it's not a non-regulated thing if you don't finish in the top 10 you don't get in so so you think because like the, better the than the new Champions League format the proposed the proposed changes to the Champions League are, are not not that great I'm no. not a big fan it's pretty it's, it's 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 closer to the ESL than what I just said right there yeah yeah, because so you gotta you gotta you look like, at you gotta look feel bad for teams like PSG and and Lyon and stuff like that. I mean, look at them, dude. You, there's five leagues: two, two, three, three, two, or two, three, four, two, or whatever you gotta do to get to ten. Right, two, three, three, two. Get the top teams. You finish first or first or second. It's gonna be those teams anyway. You know what I mean? Top two from from uh, um, what you call it, Liga. Top top three from La Liga. Top three from Syria and top two from um, Bundesliga, and the top ten from the UK. We're we're up to seventy nine likes on this stream. There's forty nine people watching. 
thank you everyone so much for yeah supporting. people are hopping on and, and jumping yeah. no absolutely I, honestly that's just appreciate that so much and like yep. 559 subscribers so what we got 28 subscribers on this stream or more than that yeah it's 30 we're at 531 so it's 28 28 it's it's a number of a of a of a middle school class. <laughs> it's the size of a middle school class. Um. So do you do, do you like the Champions League format the way it is though? I don't have a problem with the way it is now. Do you think that 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 there's less surprises now than there used to be in the Champions League? Porto taking out Juventus this year was a bit of a shocker. I thought. But like generally in the group stage, there were some, there were some pretty bad teams in the group stage. Yeah, for sure. But like Inter, Inter finished bottom of their group. They they they've run away with Syria this year. No, I kind of no. like I kind of like it the way it is. I understand what these clubs like the way they're looking at it is they're just it's money it's all money it's just how do we get more how do we get more games. How do we get better competition? How do we secure money in the bank? Yeah, I mean, it's... I don't know. But, Cody, I'd love to see her in chat with you all day. Really would, but I have to go. I have to get busy and get... get and re put the labels on. Yep. Yid, yid kid, you're a legend. Um, yes. there, I, I've been looking through the list, and... There are some curious ones, but a lot of them are are, are legit. So, yeah. um, come uh, come the fall, <laughs> we can keep doing this show in the middle of the day. Come fall, I'll, I'll, I'll be back to work, but it'll have to be shorter. So we'll have to actually like, like do an hour at lunch break. So. We'll have to decide what we want to talk about in advance. <laughs> but uh, anyone yeah, that's think watching, about, anyone yeah. that's watching uh, that wasn't watching earlier. Head on over to Tottenham away in half an hour because they're doing a show on mental health. They're going to have uh, professionals come on and speak about it. They're going to have people like Brian Daigle. If you're familiar with Brian, he's going to tell a little bit about his story. And uh, it takes a lot of courage to go on on YouTube and talk about something as personable as as personal as that. So if you're looking for something good to watch, it's going to be unreal content. I can tell you right now, I'll be heading over there guaranteed. 4 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. UK time. Yeah, Mesco Bar, 10 p.m. is a little late. Come on now, dude. On the weekend, are you serious? We're only doing those late streams. We're not doing a midweek anymore. Right? We're doing them um, because, Cody, we have the, the show on Tuesday around this time. I do my uh, my Q&A on Thursday um, where I do like a Q&A, just, just Will's face with the chat for about an hour, and then we bring on other people. So Cody will jump on or Bob Spur will jump on or Danny will jump in or whoever's available. We do that at Thursday at 12 Eastern. Um, and then um, we do the late night, the two late night streams pre and post match. So the only time it'll be a midweek is if we have a midweek match, then we'll do a pre and post um, as well. So the, the late night rant stream starts 10 and I'm going to put all of these. We've got, we're starting to get a pretty consistent schedule rolling here. So, you know, if, if we're to lock in this time slot here for this show, for the Bald and Bearded Boys, Tuesdays at 1 30 p.m., um, at least for now, at least for the next couple months, that will be the scheduled time for this show. Um, and then when, that means we've got content for you on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, or Friday, Saturday. Um, we've got openings on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays right now. Um, Fridays have kind of been, this time zone has been, is kind of set for the... Uh, um, you get like a special event show or something like that, but we never know. We we can end up filling um, uh, Friday time slots too. I, I'm looking to get some people to fill in, some, to, to to come in and do some shows uh, Monday and Wednesday, um, and stuff like that. I think that would be good. You, we could get to the point here where you've got a show on this channel every single day. So if you are watching right now and you're not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and do that. Um, share the video out with your friends, get, let people know that we're here. If you're a part of a, if you're here in the United States and you're, or you're part of a, of a group on Facebook, 
you know, get banned, share the video with people, you know, get kicked from the group. You know, it's worth it. Getting kicked, getting kicked from this, from the group to share a, a THFC rants video is worth it. It's worth it. I tell you, it's worth it. Trust me. You can always create a new Facebook account and get back in the group. Um, <laughs> um, yes, the chemist says here. Uh, yeah, 농박 보시는 한국 분들 있으면 구독과 좋아요 누르 주세요. If you're Korean and you're watching the stream, make sure to. Like and subscribe. We thank you very much. Cody Mack, it's a pleasure having you on, my friend. As always, you're 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 a true gentleman and a scholar. Um, everybody loves this show. It's probably it's it's been one of our one of our best ones. Um, so thank you for doing it with me. It's a lot of fun too. And yeah, man, for sure. I feel better. I, I I have to admit, there's nothing about this club that's making me feel good right now, aside from the time that I spend on YouTube chatting with uh, people like you and uh it was nice to mix it up a little bit i know I, i'm probably gonna have to watch this show back because i'm having a hard time remembering how much actual foot co football content as am i as am i i'll probably uh, <laughs> but you know after the after the uh, totten boy show i'll probably watch it back in, in my ears or something like that or while i'm driving to my son's practice later tonight if it stops raining um thank goodness for astroturf but um you know it's Y'all done? Oh no, yeah, Mescobar, just scroll it back, buddy. Just scroll it back and listen to it in your ears while you're working. Watch it back. You definitely want to watch the first 15 minutes of the stream. Some pr some pretty good pretty good stuff there. And he said uh, the chemist said your Korean's getting better every show. I think he means you. <laughs> and Lapper said, Will and Cody, where's the Mayflower steps steeps? Just a clue where I'm from. Thumbs up. I'll have to, I'll have to Google it. But anyway, folks, I gotta get going. I have some work that I have to get done before I have to take the young buckaroo to training tonight. And the UPS man is coming at five o'clock. So got a time limit. Got a time limit. Watch that PSG match. Head on over to Tottenham away. Get that done. Stay strong. Stay Spurs. Cody Mack, do you have a closing tagline? Um, yeah, the Jose Mourinho one. That would be good. I, I got one, but I'm going to save it for when I do my own show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but for this show, you can use the Jose Mourinho. Dabba 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 dabba. Abaya bia ba ba ba. Abaya bia ba ba. Stay strong, stay spurious. We'll see you next week. One, two, three, four. Let's go now.